team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Dayton Flyers and the Oklahoma Sooners. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Sooners should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Secondly, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. And finally, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Controlling the ball. The center handles the feed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. In and out. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Gave it up. Number two receives the ball. Tries for two. And run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Why don't you put a uniform on? Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. Trying to feed inside. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He shoots from the top of the key. He's money with the shot. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And he missed. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Number 23 makes the shot. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. the steal the pressure got to the ball handler well some ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession they go inside and now back outside i tell you inside outside action always works with a long bomb patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset high post screen gonna use it gets a hand in the way the ball goes out of play you talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Here's a double team. Pump fakes. Now the turnaround jump. Off the rim and no good. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And he tries to spin away from the defense. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. Number 15 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Makes it. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Nice shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Goes up for two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. it up for two 
I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Number two is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The Sooners will step to the line for the first time. He hits his first. And he got them both. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. They look to get it to the inside. Fakes a jumper. He goes with a baby hook. They still don't score. Number 23 receives the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Looks at a three. Way off target. He up fakes. There's the pick. There's the roll. He gets it to fall. Looking for a good shot. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Hey, Vital. I'm Brad Hessler. Nice to have you along with us. Number 32 handles the pass. Oh, yes. With a little baby hook. I tell you, he waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Dumps it in. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. And in and out. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And a momentary look from three-point land. Up fake. Looking for contact. Number 32 with a finger roll. Trying to go inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He makes a nice shot fake. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact ground on the defensive player. Great pressure, great double team. Really explain. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Got the shot if he wants it. He throws it up from downtown. Got it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. And a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Number 33 steals the ball. There's the screen up on top. 
He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Drains the shot. Good job defensively. They get it out into transition. For two, he drains it. Makes the shot. With the jump hook and off the mark. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Oh, what a strip, Red. For the bucket, in and out. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. He's got a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Side. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. You wonder how or if Oklahoma's style of play will change much, Dick, with a new coach in them. I'm curious to know as well. They've got a young coach now, and it'll be interesting to see if Oklahoma University continues to play that tough defensive physical style. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Way off target. Takes the shot. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two, he's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. In the paint. Tries to get the D to bite. There's a high screen. Kicks it out. From downtown. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. Well, that's basic. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is with a rejection. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Stolen away. And now coming the other way. Hey, only in college hoops when you see a mascot jump around like that. That's what I call spirit, baby. Unbelievable. I don't know if you saw that, Brad, but the mascot went nuts after that last dunk. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Terrible execution on offense. Probably
problem with that when you front. If you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see the wrong man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. He goes to the free throw line. He misses the first shot. He makes it. Gave it up on the inside. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The skip pass is picked off. Working it around the perimeter. On the outside. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Playing for the steal in the post and he didn't get it. Andre tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Number 15 to the line, shooting two. Makes the foul shot. Terrible free throw. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. On the outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. You don't see plays like this every day. paint got the high pick double team now bad angle number two grabs it fast break possibility coming looking for a good shot he shoots from long range he made good use of the screen but the shot fell off Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Number 54 with the bat. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd if they can get a stop on this possession. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. From three-point range, way off target. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Entry pass in the paint and now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. 
Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. For two, and off the mark. Pushing up basketball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. There's the trap. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Number two takes it away. Here we go on the break. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Sinks the shot. The Flyers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. They still don't score. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. Gave it up. Shots there if he wants it. He puts it up. He's not even looking for the open man dip. They might need a quick T.O., baby. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Picked off. Puts it up, looking for contact. Contact causes the shot to come off. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. They work it around the perimeter. Number th it counts, and the senior leader will go to the free throw line. Don't deny him on that play, Brad. That's huge. He is going to the line. Got to make the freebies. Nice rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Gonna eliminate those turnovers. Shot clock is dead. He rejects it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Intercepted. Gave it up. At the half, the Sooners are ahead by two. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? I think the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Oklahoma pulled down rebounds left and right in that first half, Dick. That's right. They were beating their men in a spot to grab the rock. That's how you control the glass, man, and that's how you control the game. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at half. 
halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Picks off the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. Number 33 makes a trade. In the paint. Tries for two. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed. Easy basket. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Takes the pass in the paint. For the deuce. Rims out. The point guard takes the pass. Pressure's getting to him. Almost lost a basketball. He gets the shot to fall. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. There's the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fires it down. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. For two. And he missed. Picked out of the air. In the paint. For two. With a layup. The Flyers are ahead by five. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes the pass in the paint. The fake for the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. There's the pick. The small forward takes the feed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long way. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. That's 
spin move is not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really at And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With the pair. He can't get one to fall. Second one is no good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Goes up for two. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The shooting guard gets the pass. He lets it go. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Entry pass in the paint for two. Gets it to fall. Take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. They get out on the break. For two, up and in. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. The small forward with the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defense. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Try to 
come up with a steal, and they do. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that close position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Here's a... And that one's blocked. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he gained great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. The Sooners are frustrated. They better be careful, or they could find themselves in really a nasty funk out there, Dick. They're going to have to turn things around fast, Brad. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense, half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually on top of the standings because they can play that style. Dick and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's a flash from the post up high. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He's got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. For two, Oklahoma have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The center gets the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Intercepted. Gave it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. He'll kick it back outside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There's the fake. Blocks the shot. Deal, go up the other way, get a layup. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He pulls the trigger, tickles the twine. Oh. 
Looking for a screen on top and got it. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I tell you, it was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. Number double zero gets in on his first minutes tonight. Hey, this kid really knows how to keep the offense moving. Tremendous leader out there. Gets the first shot. Second shot, no good. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. On the outside. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of play. High post flashes. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Here it is. This one might go down to the final buzzer. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Step out on that screener. He unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Buries it. That's a nice fake. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Strips the ball. The Sooners are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Goes up for two. And in and out. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Second shot is good. Double team now, bad angle. And the ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation, you've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Looking to move it around the perimeter as the fans continue to chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. the foul line he misses it this team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line tonight Dick frustration only makes it worse Brad they have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it no doubt about it they work the perimeter there they come with a double team to stop it Wow, let's check out the replay.
Looking for a good shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Picks off the pass. Now the high screen. Sinks the shot. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. And Dick this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. The other way. Number 32 makes a great move to draw the foul. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. You've got that right, Brad. He'll get the free ones. He hits the first. He can't get one to fall. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. Let's see that up close. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Side. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Time to pick up the defense here now. He gets the rejection. Off the rim and no good. The land. It's the replay, please. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Rims out. Number 33 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Number 30 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Second shot is good. Nice high post screen. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And now they'll bring it up. He shoots from long range. Rims out. In the paint.
He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Go back in front by two. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the pick. There's the roll. This is everything we can ask for. It's everything the basketball fans across the country can ask for. NCAA tournament game and overtime. I'll tell you one thing. The excitement's unbelievable. The place is rocking and rolling. It's survive and advance. And you better make big plays right now. You better get momentum on your side in the OT. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Spacing. Launches away. Makes it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He tries the three ball, rims out. The crowd really admires this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. For the deuce, up and in. Kick it back outside. Working it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picked off. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the outside, let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. He couldn't get it to fall. Maybe in trouble here. 
He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals the pass. For two, with the layup. Timeout, they want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Let's get back to the action. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. He shoots from downtown. Rims out. They're working around the arc. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Our tech just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Penetrates and kicks back on the dribble, gives it up. High post player flashing. Gets it back out. Number 32 with the foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. And we're going into extra innings. This may turn out to be an all-nighter, baby. Neither team is given an inch as they enter the second overtime in a dead heat. Dick, we go to another overtime of this NCAA tournament game. We've gotten everything we bargained for and much, much more. And I don't know how much more the fans can take or these players can take. This has been one heck of a game. I tell you, it's going to be a heartbreak hotel for one of these clubs. I mean, heartbreak hotel. They have played their hearts out, both these clubs, executed, defended well. And somebody's going to leave here with an L. Perfectly executed. Goes up for two. The land. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. And he scores despite the half. Dump it inside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good.
Great defense. For the bucket. The layup is good. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. In the paint, number 15 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. Tries for two. Rims out. Spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He intercepts it. On the outside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, the post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Intercepted. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. They will line them up. First shot, good. No finish on that one. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Dick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. Drains the shot. Second call approaching. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. High post screen. Got an open look if he wants it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. He pulls a trigger. They have to foul to send them to the line. I hope they miss. Shot clock is dead. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Nick. With the freebie. Sinks it. It's good. 
It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Second shot is no good. They need points on this possession, baby. for a play to resume. He looks for three. Goes in. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this point of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second shot, good. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. from the top of the circle. He misses from way outside. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, and they looked at it and analyzed it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Sooners came, they saw, and they conquered their first-round foe, Dick. I'll tell you, Brown, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second-round matchup. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.